Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Jamo here, bringing you the next episode of my FIFA 15 career mode with Chelsea. In today's episode, we have games against West Ham in the league, um, Burnley in the league, and West Ham in our in, in a cup match. So let's just jump straight into this first match against West Ham. Right then guys, this first match against West Ham should really be a breeze. They have Adrian in goal, Jenkinson, Burke, Tom Kinton, O'Brien at the back, Alex Song, Morrison, Noble, Nolan uh, in midfield, and they have Valencia and Carroll up front. This should be a fairly easy game to win nonetheless. Chelsea, Courtois in goal, that's been a quite a Cahill, Terry, Felipe Luis at the back. Boyan McKell this time put, uh, in midfield for Fabregas, William, Hazard and Oscar. Will be providing support for Remy, which is a, is a change. Wanted Diego Costa. Hazard gets a good shot away, but uh, a good save from Adrian. West Ham, no Valencia, a good shot, but caught one match it with that brilliant save. Fantastic. Still 0 0. Remy gets another shot away, a very poor shot, but. That was going wide anyway, we thought we even know Adrian made the save. William makes a fantastic shot, but yet again the shot is matched by a fantastic save from Adrian. He's putting off some fantastic saves in this match. Fabregas with the corner. But the keeper makes a fantastic a, a simple save on the brink of half time. Into the second half now. Ball gets whipped in. And West Ham. Uh, took the lead here and uh, a very poor piece of defending nonetheless Noble getting the all important goal to play West Ham in front Hazard gets his shot away but poor poor pieces of attacking play we just cannot get our, like make our chances count in this match it is absolutely abysmal uh, Hazard once again gets his shot away but William is there to meet the ball after Adrian save to uh, score an equalising goal and uh, ensure we gain a point from this match. Really, the performance wasn't as good as I expected. And uh, to be honest, I was hoping for the win, as you would think. But um, as for the quarter there, I think it was uh, had a shot rattle off the bar. Uh, unlucky, to say the least. I'm not, I'm not too sure what it was. But uh, in the 90th minute... West Ham give us a penalty, a, ch a penalty, and a chance to steal all three points. Cl try and close the gap on Tottenham. That is a definite penalty. Uh, in the meantime, West Ham make a sub. Can Eden Hazard score it? I hope he does. I really hope he does. Um, it's be a 90th minute winner if he does. Come on, Hazard. Bottom. He goes down the middle, but again. Adrian is there making yet another key save for West Ham. And that is how the game ended. We, we, we drew the game away at, us, at West Ham 1 all. Oh, a very disappointing result, to say the least. A dramatic ending to that London derby against West Ham. I was sort of thinking if only Diego Costa was on that penalty, he would have scored that and scored, stale, stole all three points. But, you know, that's football. We are still five points behind uh, Tottenham, who sit top of the Premier League. We've got 11 games left. Um, I think, no, not one. How many games? 19. Yeah, 38 games. So, yeah, we've got 11 games left uh, this season. Um, so, hopefully, in those 11 games, uh, we win a game where Tottenham drop points will allow us to close the gap. But the draw for what the capital what the FA Cup quarter final has been made. We have West Ham. Uh, we are the home side. We are, there was also a Manchester Derby, which has made me very happy indeed. Spurs have Crystal Palace and Arsenal have West Brom. So those are the four games. That'd be interesting. And then we have an international break coming up, which will be in the next episode in my road to the Euros. But the game against Burnley is next. So let's just jump straight into it. 
Right then, guys, next up in the league, we have Burnley. Um, it's another must-win game, to be honest with you. Courtois in goal for Chelsea. Aspen de Quetta Cahill. Terry and Felipe Luis at the back. The, the back four never changes. Felipe uh, Matic and Fabregas uh, in the centre of midfield. Mikel coming out this time, obviously. William Hazard and Oscar make up the attacking three along with Loic Remy. I don't really take the team very much. It's a bit of a disappointment, really. But Tom Heaton starts in goal for Burnley. Trippier. Uh, I don't even know what that name is. Shackle and me start at the back for Burnley. Arfield, Marnie, Jones, Wallace and Vokes make up the rest of the team. Start off with then West uh, Burnley get a free kick. And uh, he whips it in. And to be honest, the header, the attempt on goal was very poor nonetheless. Uh, Adin Hazard does what he does best, coming down that left-hand side, cutting inside and getting his shot away. But again, it's matched once again with a save. Um, I'm not too sure who that was. I think that was Oscar or uh, Fabregas. But one of the two is still missed. And uh, another chance where we should have scored and didn't. Burnley cut Boone out, but Courtois makes a fantastic save with his leg and uh, denies Burnley on the, on the brink of half-time. But Fabregas plays in William on the brink of half-time. And uh, smashes Chelsea in front. And uh, that will damage Burnley most certainly. And Willian, what a goal. What a goal that is. You'll see it in the replay. What a goal. Out the sort of outside of his boot. Curling round. Perfect goal. Fabregas just saw the run of Willian. Played it right time. And uh, Willian smashes it home. Deservedly so. Wasker gets his shot away after 52 minutes or 57 minutes or so. And should have buried that. Really should have done better. Could have probably should have probably should have put it down at the bottom left, but not to worry. It didn't go in. But Courtois is there yet again to deny Burnley a goal. And uh, Courtois, you you guys will know from since the day the game came out this year that Courtois is a fantastic keeper. One of the, if you're going to buy a keeper in Korea Road, he is the one to buy, as you guys will probably know. So in the third minute, I made a substitution. Fabregas off for Diego Costa, and Ramirez came on. For Loic Remy, and from this point on, since Diego Costa, came, he had so many chances you will see coming up that um, look, he hit the post there, and he, he had multiple opportunities to score. Again, here, Diego Costa, he's in once again. This time, he scores it, and deservedly so. Um, and that means obviously we've scored two goals. One of which at the end of each half. And uh, that obviously wraps up the points. Diego Costa scoring an absolute fantastic goal. Right into the roof of the net. Tom Heaton had absolutely no chance whatsoever. And uh, hopefully Diego, from that goal, Diego Costa's uh, goal scoring form can continue as we edge closer to the end of the season. Because we're not that far away now, to be honest with you. And uh, hopefully... Um, we can just continue picking up points because points are key. If we're going to finish the league in the top position and obviously win the league title. It's key position in the top four. And right on the death, we have yet another chance. But blow it. 2-0, the final score. Well, guys, uh, a goal at the end of my half still the points for Chelsea. Tottenham beat whoever they beat. Uh, Tottenham won. So they're still top of the league. And West Ham is next in the cup. So, um, let's just jump straight into the final match of this episode. Right then, guys, the final match in this episode is against West Ham in the FA Cup. Pet Cech starts in goal. Seamus Coleman at right back. John Terry, Gary Cahill and Aspilicueta to make up the rest of the defence. Ramirez and Matic come in at midfield. Salah, Schürrle, Hazard, partner up front. Uh, partner uh, make up the attacking three for Didier Drubba or Diego Costa. I'm not too sure which. West Ham. Have Adrian in goal, Jenkinson, Tomkinson, Kuate. Um, I can't even pronounce the rest of that. I can't even see it. Noble, Song, Nolan, Morrison make up the midfield, along with Andy Carroll up front. Opening few minutes then, Eden Hazard cuts inside. Uh, no, it's Asper the Quest. Oh, no, I don't know who it was there to make that shot, but as you saw there, we go 1 0 down. To West Ham, thanks to an own goal from John Terry and poor defending nonetheless. Ramirez comes forward, should have scored, should have buried it to equalise it, but doesn't quite manage it, unfortunately. Should have done loads better. Um, from here we have a corner from Eddie Hazard. 
whips it in, but uh, Mohamed Salah, of all people, Mohamed Salah is there to uh, to head the ball home and give us the draw. That will obviously mean we are playing West Ham in a replay later in the month. Salah is a fantastic player. He really is. Um, Hazard gets another shot away, but Adrian with another save. It's just making sure our chances count, and it doesn't seem to happen. It's just ridiculous. But coming up, and that is how it ended, really. Last chance saloon, really. And uh, FA Cup replay. It is against West Ham to try and go into the quarterfinals or the semis. Well, guys, after that FA Cup match, um, as you know, Andre Scherner went off injured for Lewis Baker and he picked up a broken ankle for three months, um, which puts him out for the rest of the season, unfortunately. So we are now a man down for the remainder of the season. Because of that replay, the whole game has been postponed uh, for a later date and a lot about the press conference. So next episode, we have the game against West Ham, um, which will be the only match in the episode. Um, before the international break unless I can fit three games in. So thank you for watching this episode. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode soon. See you later.